Gonzalez, uh, the director of Priority Boarding. How's it going, Jaime? Hey, good morning. How's it going? Good morning. I know it's early up uh, in Texas right now. <laughs> yeah, um, a little early. So yeah. I thought it was it was so refreshing and fun and cool to to stumble upon your film. And I, I, I messaged your manager and I'm like, can you please let this director know that I would love to have this film? at our, our first ever Coconut Grove Film Festival. Um, Jaime, tell us a little bit about how you found uh, the script uh, and how you ended up directing this movie. Uh, this was totally kind of, you know, like most things, it's just organic. There's some kind of, um, you know, synergy going around to make movies. But um, this one in particular was a friend of mine, the lead actor, Adam Feingold, approached me about this. Um, with the writer, his name's David Bass, we're working on a feature film together. We're all gonna be co kind of co-producing um, his feature. And while we were talking about the feature, you know, he actually has a really interesting story because he's a, he's a poker player and professional poker player. This is the, the writer of this movie. And he's, you know, he's in his later years and he wants to, Re reinvent himself as a screenwriter and he's having a lot of success which is oddly enough as in the feature film world right and he said well I, i've never done a short and he said I, I'm, I'm really interested in doing a short and so adam approached me about it and um, first uh, to maybe co-produce and possibly play his role as, a, as, a, as an actor and i said okay I'm interested in the just schedules just didn't work out. And the more I kept reading the script, we were looking for like, I want to say two months for a director, like, like really looking. And we, we searched and we went to all our net, our network. And then we were going out to uh, different agencies. And one of the first things that we kept getting was, Hey man, this pokes fun too much of the left. It pokes fun too much of the right. It pokes fun of everybody in this weird way. Like, you know, it's political satire. And, you know, after two months, I was like, I kind of think it's funny. I go, let me take a stab at this. And that's how it kind of, uh, you know, came to fruition. That's what I think is so cool and edgy and fun about the movie. It's that you don't know what side, like you said, it's poking fun at. Um, I thought right. that having that conversation and and having fun with it uh, is is awesome. And I think we need to we need to talk about this more often. And I think the way you did it was just honestly hilarious. I thought the performances you got. Um, I mean, I especially loved the the flight attendant who who uh was doing yeah, the check-in i thought she was absolutely fantastic uh where, where did you find her yeah she's a she's an actor based out of la we we wanted to go and see if we could do something different and we had talked about possibly um she would do it with a british accent and we thought that would just be uh, you know she's a working actor we actually did a movie together i totally bought um, it i thought i thought she was british for sure oh no no <laughs> But we, but we did a, yeah. we had done a movie together, and I thought she was just uh, fantastic. And the, um, her sidekick was someone that I was uh, coaching on a film, and I just thought he was great. And it just kind of came together this way, you know. Uh, we had a, we actually, the, the, one of the cool things about this movie, we shot at a studio in Orange County, that, you know, I had, I had shot there a decent amount of times. Um, because we were looking for an airport. That's how crazy, you know, I, I told David, I go, why don't you write something simpler, like in a park, you know, um, <laughs> you wrote it in an airport that That's requires like my a brother, lot of actors. I tell him stop writing stuff on boats. And the more I tell him that the more boats he writes, uh, you know, it broke up a little bit. Uh, what airport did you shoot this at? Well, we didn't shoot at an airport because to shoot at an airport was oh, about, okay. Yeah, it was about thirty, forty thousand a day. Plus the ins just the insurance on that would be double. That it was insane, man. We, you know, we'd been we'd be in like the three hundred thousand yeah. dollars space, and so um, I had worked out a deal with a studio in L.A. And I said, they said if you can get this thing shot in like fourteen hours, it's yours. And we 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 paid for it, but it was a set actually. But it was really hard to get cool. this thing, so. If anyone's curious, we shot this thing in 14 hours. 
That's awesome. And what about the uh, the actual airplane uh, set? Was the whole that thing the same was, studio? The same studio. The whole thing was we had to while the crew was was because uh, we did have like art department while the art department was working on one set. You know, they were setting up the uh, we were shooting inside the airplane, moving the air, shaking the airplane, going back to the other set. It was, you know, obviously when you have a confined space, it's it's easier. But it was still to to pull what we pulled off in in fourteen hours. I thought was insane, man. Yeah, I mean, I I, I thought the airplane looked looked really really good. Um, cool. I had Thank some experience you. with airplane sets, and I thought yours looked top notch. Thank um, you. Yeah. Yeah. The the other thing it reminded me of there's this show uh, called Benidorm in the UK that's like this uh, these families that go to these all inclusive hotels in the south of spain um mm -hmm. and and each character is a total riot and and i felt that in your film um i feel like you know you could you could do episodes of episodes Sh of these characters that you showed in your sure film. sure that's one that's one of the things that we kept thinking about as we kind of started playing festivals that was a that was a note that we kept getting that it definitely felt like there was we could continue this storyline with with those characters and include different characters and you know that's how you know well thank well, you I, yeah. I i commend you for for doing such an edgy comedy oh thank you thank you i appreciate it well jaime we're gonna miss you um at at the festival this year yeah, but the, it was so cool to hang out last that, week here in you know, no 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 it uh, was so, it, go, it, 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 yeah, it was. It, it's, it's funny, the Coconut Grove vibe. You, I, I kid you not. I just got off the phone with my manager a few days ago and he said, how are the holidays? I'm like, oh, it was, it was cool. I actually got a chance to meet the guys from uh, Felipe from Co the Coconut Grove Film Festival. And he goes, were you at Coconut Grove? I said, yeah. He goes, you won't believe this. I was at Coconut Grove, too. During that time <laughs> that we met, my manager was that is in so Coconut funny. Grove visiting some and of he's, his family. He's in, and he's and he's from L.A. Yeah. He's from actually Boca. He's from Boca. Oh, he's so from Boca. Florida. That's right. That's right. Yeah, there's a yeah. Flor but he had just happened to be visiting family that week in Coconut Grove. And I go, dude, if I would have texted him, like I would have, you know, met with him or something like that. I just didn't want to bother him during the holidays. But he lives in yeah. LA. So uh but the well, a, a writer enjoy... a writer will be there though, by the way. So he will? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Uh so... then then I'll definitely have him come up in the q a to, to the front of the <laughs> front of the room okay fantastic man i'm glad Appreciate he's gonna you, be representing you all right hi man thank big you, man. hug thank you so much thank for you, everything man. You as well all right you have a good thank one you. thank you so much thank you all right